and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Skeletor, give me one more chance. I beg you, don't, don't send me away from Snake Mountain. Silence, you funny fool. I've had it with your whining and bumbling. You're finished here, do you understand? Cast out, vanished. Say, what's beast man dubbed anyway? Nothing. Skeletor's had one too many defeats from He-Man, and he's taking it out on poor old Fuzzface. Just be thankful that's not you down there. Your whip, Beast Man. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, your seat at the council table. Get out! Go! And don't let me see your mangy hide around here again! Ah, all right. I'll go. But I'll be back. Oh, you will, will you? Yes! I'll show you all the true power of Beast Man. You haven't seen the last of me! <laughs> There, all the adjustments are done. <laughs> the attack track's ready for the King's Royal Tour of Eternia. That's great! When do we get started? We don't. The King will be going alone on this tour, accompanied only by me and his mightiest, most courageous warrior. <clears throat> you, Prince Adam? Well, I'm hoping he picks me as his guard. Oh, fair. I want to go, too. I'm real helpful. You can be a big help by staying out of the way. But I won't cause any trouble, I promise. Yay! Orko, he's trapped inside. Let me out! Voice scan negative. You are not recognized. You are an intruder. Which one is the turn-off switch? I think we need a little help. By the power of Grayskull! some trouble with the attack track, sire, but He-Man is taking care of it. Attack track. 
Mark, this is He-Man. Cease all functions immediately. Voice scan positive. He-Man confirmed. All functions cease. Last stop, everybody out. <laughs> You said you wanted to help? He-Man! I saw how you rescued Orko. That was very brave. Thank you, sire. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. You do a great service to Eternia, young man. We are proud you are on our side. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> So you still think you'll be the king's escort, eh? Sure, why not? Well, sometimes he hasn't been too pleased with you. You know, as Adam, I may act like a goof now and then, but, well, that's only to keep my secret. Besides, I'd never really do anything to make my father ashamed of me. Hmm, I hope he knows that. Adam, Duncan, I called you in to tell you that I have made the choice for my honor guard escort. The young man I've selected has won the admiration of myself and our people many times over. He-Man. He-Man? Duncan, you've had great success in summoning He-Man before. Would you please contact him now? Of course, Your Majesty. But, Father, I... Well, I thought you and I might make this trip together. Really, Adam? But you've never shown any interest in state affairs. Sorry, son. I'm afraid on this trip I'll need someone a bit more experienced and reliable. I see. You seem troubled, Adam. How can I help? For a long time, I've had the power of He-Man, but to keep that power a secret, I've had to pretend, you know, to be careless and irresponsible. More than anything, I want to give up that disguise and make my father proud of me. I understand your sorrow, Adam, but you must also recognize the responsibility your power brings. If Skeletor or any of He-Man's other enemies learned your secret, they would not rest until they had destroyed you or the ones you love. Yeah, well, I can't endanger my family, but I can make my father respect me without telling him my secret. You must do what you think is right, Adam, but be careful. So, after all those years of service, Skeletor just throws me out. Why, that skull-faced creep! Where does he come off pushing me around? I'm still beast, right? The master of all the animals. Right? You there, Bushtail! Bring me down that fruit and make it snappy! Oh, let's face it, without the power of Snake Mountain behind me, I'm nothing. What's that? I still think He-Man would have been a better choice for this trip. But, Father, I'm going to be king one day. I'll have to learn how to run the kingdom. Just remember, Adam, we're on an important journey. We'll have no time for your antics on this trip. I know, Father. You can count on me. Ah, it's the king. And with no guards, either. Why, if I could capture him, Skeletor would gladly take me back. Come on, you beasts! We've got work to do. What's the first stop, Duncan? The city of Drizdos lies on the other side of this forest. We should be there in a few hours. What's that? Shadow Beasts! They've shorted out our generator. We're defenseless and, and losing power. Adam, wait! Come back! This free 
Z ray will slow them down. <laughs> well, look in here. It's the cowardly Prince Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go, Beast Man, or you'll pay for this. Sorry, Prince. It's you who's going to pay if you ever want to see your father a free man. Bring all the gold from the palace to Snake Mountain tonight. Do as I say, or the king will never leave Skeletor's dungeon. <laughs> Let me go! Father, and just so you don't try to follow us, we'll be long gone before that wears off. <laughs> <laughs> Right this way, your majesty. <laughs> you furry devil, you'll never get away with this. Who's going to stop me? That weakling son of yours? When he shows up tonight, I'll get him and all your gold, too. <laughs> Monster, if you touch one hair on that boy's head. Yeah, yeah, come on. You've got a date with Skeletor. Intruders! Hold it right there! Put that down, you fool! It's me! What are you doing back here? I've brought Skeletor a little gift. King Randor! <laughs> well done, Beast Man. Skeletor is sure to take you back now. Ah, where is the old Skullface, anyway? On a destruction mission out in space. He took the others with him. I got stuck with guard duty. Well, what do you say? We lock up our guests and celebrate my return. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine, but the king... I know. He's Beast Man's prisoner. Why didn't you turn to He-Man, lad? I wanted to show my father that I could be a hero, too. But I failed. Look, son. You were given He-Man's power for a reason. To help others. No one ever said you could use that power to make yourself happy. I know that now. And I know what I have to do. By the power of Grayskull! You stay here and get the attack track rolling again. I think this is one mission He-Man should tackle himself. To Beast Man, the craftiest of Skeletor's warriors. Next to myself, that is. Actually, I'm surprised you came back, considering the way you were treated. No, are you kidding? Old Bonehead couldn't make a move without your truly. something? No, that's your imagination. Quit worrying! King Randor, a 
Are you in there? I guess not. He-Man? Down here. He-Man. Praise the sorceress. Shh. Quiet, your highness. With any luck, I'll have you out of here and back to safety before the others know you're gone. <laughs> then again... The prisoner alarm! The king is escaping! Skeletors have a robots will bring him back! You better let me handle this, sire. What? And miss a good scrap? I never told Adam or Man at Arms, but I used to be quite a rowdy in my youth. Well, wouldn't Adam be surprised if he could see me now? Yes, he would. <laughs> I haven't fought like that since I was a boy. Nice to know I still have the old left hook. Beastman didn't hurt my son, did he? No, he's fine. I love that boy, you know. I'm hard on him sometimes, but I hope he knows how much I care. It's hard for a father to say, I love you, to his son. Sometimes it's hard for Adam to say that, too. This way, sire. You go nowhere, fool. You're not spoiling my victory, He-Man. to sneak up on people. Ah, I guess we showed them. Let's go, Your Highness. Adam will be happy to see you. Skeletor? Oh, do you think I care what that bone-faced creep thinks? That arrogant, loud-mouthed... Oh, if I ever see his ugly face again, it will be too soon! You furry, flea-bitten fool! I'll cover my throne with your hide! Ske Skeletor! I... Uh, I can explain everything. And so you will, once you clean up this mess. You too, Merman. Get busy. Well, I hope you're a happy fool. Now we're both in trouble. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of nice to be home. I see the attack track's no worse for wear after our little meeting with the Shadow Beasts. And you're no worse for wear after your encounter with Beast Man. Thanks to He-Man. You could learn a lot from him, Adam. I think I already have. Now, what does that mean? Nothing, Father. I... Do I look like the kind who'd argue with someone with a good left hook? No, I guess not. What? I wonder. No, no. <laughs> Couldn't be. 
today's story was about love. But a very special kind. It was about the love a parent has for a child. And I bet that's the strongest kind of love there is. Because for one thing, there's just about nothing that can change it. No matter what. Maybe like Adam's father, your parents find it a little difficult to say, I love you. Even so, you can be sure they do. Besides, let me ask you something. When was the last time you said, I love you, to them? Bye! And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. That is beautiful, isn't it, Cringer? <laughs> and a beautiful place to take a nap. <laughs> what did what, you say? <laughs> you don't give a fellow much choice. No! Let me go! Let me go! I don't want to stay here. Why? Don't you like me? Why should she? When she should be living up here with us. No, you just keep your distance, Willen. You and the rest of you tree people. Don't you threaten me, cave dweller. I want Starchild, do you hear me? Ha! Huh. As always, your words fall on deaf ears. You'll have to take her. Starchild, don't go that way. It's not safe. Come back. No! You people, you... Well, you're always fighting over something. Me or... Help me! Oh, no! Star child! She's fallen into the old vine jungle. It's all your fault, Palos. My fault? Listen, if you hadn't... That's an ogre. He must have seen her fall. What'll we do? No one is safe down there. No one? We'll see about that. What's going on? By the power of Grayskull! that we must hurry battle cat a child has fallen into the old vine jungle hey man keep a sharp eye battle cat there's no telling what we might run into in this place the vines are like snakes and they'll grab at anything Here she is, and just in time. Battle Cat, you 
Use your muscles. Good work, Battle Cat. Hmm? Oh, don't touch me. Don't be afraid. You're safe now. Once we get you back to your parents... I... I don't have any. Well, then who takes care of you? I guess nobody. Uh-oh, more ogres. Let's get out of here. Mount up. On him? He won't hurt you. Hmm? Easy, easy. Man, you saved her. Now she can go home with me and my people, where she belongs. No, she comes with me to live with the cave dwellers. For now, she's going to the royal palace, where the king and queen will decide the issue. I will go there and plead my case. And I also. Oh my, that is lovely, if I do say so myself. What is it? Oh, I don't know, Tila, but let's find out. Orko, did you do that on purpose? Me? No way. <laughs> Just another goof up, I guess. Hey, look who's here. It's all right. These are my friends, Tila and Orko. Hey, you're cute. She's more than that. She's adorable. What are you doing? It's, it's a power I have for those who like me. I like you. I, I really do. Me too. Oh, my. Oh, that is nice. Who is she? Where did she come from? She's called Starchild. I rescued her from the old vine jungle. Are you kidding? Nobody ever goes into that place. Well, this young lady did. She was running from the cave dwellers. And the tree people. They, well, they were fighting over me. But why a little darling like you? Well, they both think they can use my power to beat the other. It, well, it wasn't meant for that. What is it meant for? Not much. I mean, it's just for liking people and getting them to like me. Hmm. That sounds more like a gift to me. Maybe, but it's still a power. In that case, I think the king and queen should meet our little friend. Looking at her almost makes me wish Adam was still a child. Adam will always be my child. But what will we do with this child? Give her to me. Palos. Yes, of the cave dwellers, your majesties. And I see you found my ward. By Eternia's heart, I was so very worried. I'll bet you were. Well, after all, I am her guardian, and I'm glad my little ward is safe. And we'll keep her here, where she's even safer. Oh? Well, I'm afraid that my eternal enemies, the tree people, might try to capture her. I'd much prefer to keep her with me. No! Hurry, she can't go far! Star Child, wait! I thought I heard someone here. <gasps> Have you found anything? I thought I had, but it was you. Oh. <laughs> you may as well come on back, little one. There's no place to hide. Either the sun went down awfully fast or someone's turned the lights off. A flashball should light things up. <laughs> ah, that's better. Now I'd better go check these lights. Ah, this must be Tila's room. Tila appreciates beautiful crystal. This information may come in very handy. The power source has stopped. Very strange.
Star Child, wait! E-Man! She went down that hallway! Let's go! <laughs> now be careful. We don't want to scare her. Scare her? <laughs> How about us? Stand back. Are you hurt? No, just a little shocked. We'll have to jump for it. Oh no! Look! There's only one direction left to go. Down. I'll fix the floor later. Let's get back to the throne room. You two are just in time to hear this tree man's story. Have you found the child? No, your majesty, not yet. I figured you'd show up sooner or later. I only came to thank you for looking for my ward. Yours? Yes. During some fighting with the evil cave dwellers, the Star Child was accidentally lost. That's not true. We are not evil. You are. Please, no fighting in the throne room. No fighting at all. The child will remain under royal protection until we settle this issue once and for all. Now, everyone, keep searching. You heard the king. Yes, Your Majesty. Of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> Star Child, can you hear me? Oh! I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, not half as beautiful as you. <laughs> I hope that Star Child will grow to be as lovely. What a nice compliment. Thank you. Help me. Use your skills as a soldier to help me find her before Willen does. I couldn't do that. It wouldn't be right. This is what forms the walls of my caves. Tila, I can give her beauty such as you've only dreamed. You must help me. You do seem sincere. Oh, very well. Come with me. Star Child! Star Child, can you hear me? She was last seen around here. There she is. Oh! They will do something! I can't. We're rising. Oh, no! We're headed for the skylight! Tila! Oh, He-Man, thank goodness! Get us out of here! you're down, let's get you out. Stand aside. Oh, thanks. You know, that was Star Child's doing. Yes, she has more power than we know. We'd better find her, and fast. Come on. Hmm, now, where's my sonic wrench? Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I thought you were my daughter. Well, not quite. I was looking for Star Child. Well, well, she's not here, I assure you. That's a clever device you're working on. A sensor? But yes, it is. Hopefully, it will help locate the little girl. I can just work out this one problem. Uh, may I? I think that did it. You're very skilled. You should use such knowledge for things other than fighting the cave dwellers. Well, that is my dream. Why I must find Star Child. Wait. Perhaps we can work together for everyone's sake. It's picking up something. Hey, that's the laser defense system. It's not supposed to do that. Well, 
trapped. Help! That's man at arms. Wait here. There may be danger. Get us out of here, please! This should do it. Thanks. You, you got here just in the nick of time. I'm glad I could help. Let's check over there. Well, let's see. If I were a little girl, frightened, lonely, what would I do? Nobody wants me. I think that maybe too many people want you. It isn't me. It's my power. Tell me about it. So I've seen. You haven't seen it all. I, I can also use it to protect myself. Yes, you certainly can. The last thing I ever wanted to do is hurt someone. But grown-ups like Willard and Palos, they think... They think if they can have your power, it will help one conquer the other, right? You, something like that. Everyone is being summoned. I think now is a good time for you and I to have a good long talk with the king and queen. Hmm? You think they'll understand? Well, that's up to us. Okay? It has become quite obvious the star child will not be found until she is ready. We must know what it is that has her so frightened. She has certain energies, my queen. If she does not learn to control them, she could accidentally destroy us all. Now, I and my people will teach her to... No. I, Palos, and my people, we must be allowed to teach her to... You see? You hear what they're saying? I don't need teaching. They do. If they had my power, they'd destroy each other. You see, I told you it wouldn't work. I'm better off alone. No, Star Child, wait! She is not afraid for herself, she is afraid for you. Tila, come on. Star Child! Star Child! Star Child! We'll have to go after her. That's the tunnel to the old vine jungle. All the more reason. I'm going with you. Me too. Good for you. Well, the more the merrier. Be careful. There's danger all around us. Hey! Let go! Sheila! Wait! That's a tickle trap. If you attack it, squirts a liquid that can be very dangerous to humans. But if you tickle it... It lets go! Phew! <laughs> I like a plant with a sense of humor. Star Child! Shh, wait a minute, don't make a sound. These are filled with echo crystals. Loud noises make them explode. No way! I don't want to hurt you. Please, leave me alone. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? We've got him, Star Child. This'll finish him, Star Child. Even throw him in there. I'm glad you spotted that tangle tree, Willem. That should keep him tied up for quite a while. You risk getting hurt to help me? You both thought of me and not of yourselves? So, all this time you've each sought the Star Child's power to overcome the other. <sighs> 
Yes, Your Majesty, but only so that we, the tree people, could make the cave dwellers understand that we should live in peace. But that's all we, the cave dwellers, ever wanted. To live in harmony. So you see, it was all a simple misunderstanding. I guess the power to love and protect one another is sometimes hard to come by. Then go. Take the star child and give her the best of both. The caves and the trees. The entire crystal forest and all its beauty. That is, if that is your wish. It is so decreed. Well, looks like the war's over. <sighs> Thank goodness. Today we saw people fighting over the Star Child, but in the end, her power brought these people together. It might surprise you to know that all of us have a power like the Star Child's. You can't see it or touch it, but you can feel it. It's called love. When you care deeply about others, when you're kind and gentle, then you're using the power. And that's very special magic indeed. Until later, goodbye for now. The Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and Defender of the Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Wasted in this lonely tower. Me, Malik, the mighty wizard of Stone Mountain, held prisoner by the memory of the one I love. Beautiful Tila. How I've longed to see you again and make you mine. But you rejected me. Preferring to join the Royal Guard than to become my wife. It's not fair. My magic can get me anything I want, except her. Malik, are you all right? Carrie, I didn't call for you. But I heard a noise. I thought you needed help. Well, you thought wrong, assistant. Now leave me. We'll go over your magic lessons later. Yes, Malik. If only I could go to see Tila again, but she'd only reject me like before. Still, I wish she could be mine. There is no price I would not pay to make that dream come true. Greetings, Malak! Who are you? I am Lucas, a special messenger sent by my master. Who is this master of yours? What does his name matter? The important thing is that he knows how you feel about Tila and can help you make her yours. Really? How? Well, there is a price involved. A rather high price. I'll give you anything. Well, in that case, we have a deal. Done! Oh! What was that? A mere formality to seal our agreement. And now to work! Doing? Stop this at once! It's all part of the bargain, Malik. The bargain you agreed to. 
I never agree to wiping out those people's crops. If you won't end this madness, I'll use my magic to stop it. Consider this a warning, Malak. From now on, I'm in charge. <laughs> It's like that awful creature owns you. This is it, Orko. I've had it with your silly parlor tricks. Sorry, Duncan. I must have gotten my spells crossed. You got your spells crossed? Why, you... Wait a second. I can fix everything. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? What's going on? I've got a blizzard in my workshop. That's what's going on. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Next time, Orko, save that trick for a hot summer's day. I've got to meet Tila for my combat lesson. Well, I guess I'll be going too. <laughs> oh, I suppose I'm going to clean up this mess. You will keep that. Prepare to defend yourself! Hey, take it easy, will ya? Oh, come on, Anna. I'm just trying to make your combat lesson fun. What do I need lessons for? Aren't you my bodyguard? If you had a little skill, Adam, you wouldn't need a bodyguard. No, it's no trick to be tough, Adam. You just gotta use your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only you could make an appearance like that, Ram Man. Well, I always try to make a good impression. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I think the lesson's just about over. Great. Come on, Ram Man. Let's grab a bite at the palace kitchen. Oh, who? Forgive my sudden intrusion, Captain Teela, but I must speak to you. Certainly, Mr. Um... Locus, ma'am. I'm a farmer from Artana. Or I was a farmer until... until Malak, the wizard of Stone Mountain, destroyed our crops. Malak? It can't be. It's true, ma'am. We were lucky to escape. For with one magical gesture, he blasted away the Stone Mountain Dam and wiped out our village. No, not Malak. He would never use his powers for destruction. But there's one more thing, ma'am. He destroyed the dam out of loneliness for you. Excuse me? <laughs> the trap is baited and set. And soon both Malak and Tila will be mine. <laughs> Uh, hey, Adam, would Cringer sit up and beg for some food? Uh, come on, Cringer. Come on, sit up and beg. Oh, oh, the only thing I'd beg is that lout's pardon. Sit up and beg, indeed. <laughs> Adam! There's been some trouble in Artana, and Malik seems to be behind it. Malik? Hey, wasn't he your old boyfriend? He thought so. Well, uh, uh, what do you want us to do? I could use your help, Ram Man, and Adam, please. Ask my father if he could locate He-Man. I'll need him, too. Well, won't I do just as well? Oh, please, this is no time for jokes. By the power of Grayskull!
understand you were looking for me. Oh, am I glad to see you. Malik the Wizard of Stone Mountain is in trouble. Malik? The, your old boyfriend? Don't you start in on it, too. Are you going to help us or not? <laughs> Lead on, Captain. That terrible creature Locust is responsible for this. I should never have listened to him. Still, once he helps me win Tila, I'll use my magic to set everything right again. Malik, I've seen what you and Locust have been doing. I may be just your assistant, but I know that Locust is evil. Send him away before it's too late. She suspects too much. I must get rid of her. <laughs> You think your boyfriend will be happy to see us? For the last time, Malik was not, nor will he ever be, my boyfriend! Help! 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 I drop you. I'll be all right. Trust me. Some trick. Some powers you've got. Who are you? I'm Karim, Malik's assistant. We'll talk after we've settled with him. From bones you came, to bones you return. Like I said before, those are some powers. You're saying a demon is responsible for Malik's actions, Karim? Yes. Malik follows Locus's every command, and all out of love for Tila. Oh, no! I thought he'd gotten over that. Duh, over what? Yeah. I guess I'd better tell you everything. Before I became captain of the guard, I spent several months studying in the City of Wisdom. It was there that I met Malik, who was training to become a master wizard. He always seemed like a nice enough fellow. Such a beautiful girl deserves the finest gown magic can produce. Though he did have some trouble controlling his magic. Malik eventually improved his magic and became a great sorcerer. But he couldn't believe that I never thought of him as more than a 
casual friend. And that's the whole story. Some women would be honored to have Malik care for them. Like it or not, I think you've got a rival. Greetings. I've been waiting for you, Tila. Oh! You put her down. <laughs> Malik, let Tila go at once. She is mine, he man. Heed my warning and leave Stone Mountain. Not a chance. Malik, this is ridiculous. Is something wrong, my love? Yes, everything's wrong. You can't force me to fall in love with you. Not in a way that's real. But you will love me in time. Time is the one thing you've run out of, Malik. Wait, what, what, what's happening? As I said, wizard, your time is up. Now you have to pay me for bringing you Tila. What does he mean? What do you owe that creature? Malik was so busy thinking of you, he never stopped to consider the fee for my services. Well, what do you want from me? Your soul, wizard! <laughs> My soul? Oh, no! It's true! You did make a deal with that monster! And now to call my master to take possession of you both! <laughs> oh, master of darkness, lord of all evil things, come forth! Your servant awaits! Mary, I have come for you. Who dares intrude? My name is He-Man. He-Man? So we face each other at last. Who? What are you? I am the master of fear and destroyer of hope. The enemy of mankind. Throughout the universe, mortal, I am evil itself. Stop him. <laughs> Fools, you just delay my ultimate victory. Evil will crush you all. No, it cannot be. He is as powerful as I. Incredible. Your goodness is equal to my own dark power. I could fight you for years and never win. I'm ready if you are. I will waste no more time with you. I still claim Malik as mine. No! Take him! I say no! I offer you another soul, evil one. A soul freely given for Malix. My own. Kareem! Your soul? Unheard of. Never has there been such an offer. I love Malik and would risk anything for him. Even oblivion itself. It is done, then. I release Malik with your soul. <laughs> My hand. Curse you, girl. Any soul that would give itself up for another must be filled with the one power I can never overcome. The one power that could destroy me. The power of love. Real love this time. I have been cheated. Logash, 
Lo cash. Cash you. This is all. All your fault. But, but, Master! Silence! I will deal with you later. As for you, He-Man, our battle, our battle will continue. I'll be waiting. We make better friends than enemies, Malik. That we do, He-Man. We fix the dam, Tila. But I don't know how to make up for all the trouble I've caused you. Just give the attention you wanted to spend on me to someone who deserves it. I hope you don't take losing Malik too hard, Tila. Actually, there's someone I've been working with that I've grown rather fond of. Really? Anyone I know? Mm-hmm. Coming, Ram Man. <laughs> Ram Man? Hey, guys. When you got it, <laughs> you got it. In today's adventure, Malik thought he could do whatever he wanted. But instead, he found that when you do something wrong, you may get away with it for a while. But sooner or later, you have to answer for it. Fortunately for him, Malik had friends who cared about him and came to his rescue. All of us make mistakes, but doing something wrong when you know it's wrong really doesn't make sense. Sooner or later, it catches up to you. Until next time, bye. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Guard up. Hit now forward. Good, good. But watch out for this. <laughs> that sure was quick. <laughs> Get your sword. I'll teach it to you. If I haven't tired you out. Not yet. It's Zoar. The sorceress wants to see us. And I guess practice is over. <laughs> Sorceress, we're here. Welcome, Prince Adam. I have a message for you. Or rather, for He-Man. A message? From whom? I think you'll remember him. Granamir. Sorceress, tell He-Man that I wish to speak with him in dark smoke as soon as possible. Oh, that's the dragon who helped save me from Skeletor's evil spell. Oh, he's something. There's not another like him. But I wonder why he wants to see He-Man. I don't know. But an invitation from the oldest and wisest of the dragons of Dark Smoke is a great honor. Then I better get moving. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Ah! 
I'd like to come along. I never did get the chance to thank Branamir personally. That's why I summoned you as well. And I can use the company. It's a long way to Dark Smoke. <laughs> Way is right. We've been flying for hours. Branamir likes his privacy, but we should see it any minute now. In fact, there it is. Dark smoke. Hold on. Incredible. Come on. Welcome, He-Man. By the ancients. I thank you for accepting my invitation. But I did not invite you. This is my friend, Man-at-Arms, the one you saved when we first met. He wanted to thank you in person. Poor excuse for bad manners. Well, I didn't mean to be rude. Please accept my apology and my thanks. <laughs> At least you speak with respect. I wouldn't speak any other way to one as grand as you. You show good sense for a human. You may stay. Thank you again. And now, the, the reason for my invitation. <laughs> Tom! Well, come on, come on, this is the one we've been waiting for. My champion? Champion? This is Tor, the youngest dragon of Dark Smoke. He is in love with a female of your kind. Her name is Lyra. She is the loveliest and sweetest being I have ever known. She is small and foolish like all humans, but love blinds even dragons at times. A dragon in love with a human? Amazing. On the day of their wedding, Tom shall undergo the great spell of changing and become human as well. He will never again know the joy of flying freely or the power of dragon kind. And he will live not thousands of years, but only the pitiful few of a human. It is something few men would do for the love of a woman. But what does this have to do with me? My Lyra's father is a wizard and demands a test of anyone wishing to marry his daughter. By our dragon's codes, Tor may not become human until the girl has pledged herself to him. But the wizard will allow a human champion to take the test in his place. And you want me to be that champion? You are the only human we dragons can call friend. But the choice is yours. But what if I fail this test? But you mustn't, you mustn't. If you fail, my ears will ring for the next thousand years with the moans of this lovesick hatchling. It is a thought that frightens even me. Well, then I'll do my best. I expect no more, and no less. The wizard will be expecting you. Thank you. Don't worry, Torm. I'll have your bride here before you know it. It will be so wonderful. A dragon in love. The world will never be the same. Farewell, He-Man. I do not accept this. Lyra should be my bride, not the wife of a monster. Tom is no monster. He's a gentle spirit. And I love him. And I would not marry you in any case. My daughter has made herself clear on this matter, Zem. Go in peace and trouble us no more. This beast has bewitched you both. Guard your tongue, Zem, or... Great Brindel, the dragon's champion, has arrived! Show him in at once. As for you, Zem, leave my house now and never return. Old man, you have not heard the last of this. Out of my way, Oaf. Not very polite, is he? Pay him no mind, He-Man. He wants to marry my daughter, but she won't have him. You know me? There are few on Eternia who do not. <laughs> Torm has chosen his champion well. Oh, He-Man, 
thank you for helping us. Now I know Tom and I will be married. He must still pass the test, Lyra. But he will. I know he will. Oh, Father, I'm so happy. She seems to love Torm as much as he loves her. We will hold the test first thing in the morning. But tonight, you must be my guests. It will be our pleasure. I'll show that old fool, Brindle. Braylock, demon of the night, I call upon you. What is your wish? In that tower room sleeps He-Man and his friend. I want you to enter it and take He-Man to your dark land. It will be done. So fast, demon. Thanks. Save it. That thing's not through yet. Mortal fools! Let's get him. Where did he go? I can't move. And now to my world. To your world indeed. Demon, but you'll go alone. No! <laughs> it was close. Too close. Are you all right? Thanks to you. What was that creature? A demon of night. Had I not stopped him, you would have been slaves in this dark world forever. But who sent it? Mm, must have been Zem, that jealous fool. We better be on guard from now on. Don't trouble yourselves. So Brindle casts a spell of protection. It can only mean my demon has failed. But tomorrow I will succeed and E-Man will be finished. Are you ready to begin the test, He-Man? Yes. Then listen carefully. Somewhere in my maze stands the tree of many fruits. On that tree grows a single silver apple. You must find the tree and get the apple. Bring it to me and my daughter will be free to marry your dragon friend. Now that you know what's to be done, enter and good luck. Just a minute, Brindle. That Zim character might try to interfere. Once He-Man enters, no one else will be able to follow. My magic will see to that. That's what you think, Brindle. It's done. Now it's all up to He-Man. Oh, what's happening, Grenimir? He-Man has begun the test. Hmm. There's something funny about this. If this is really fire, why aren't those hedges burning? No heat. Which means this is only an illusion. Can I help 
of you, stranger? I'm looking for the tree of many fruits. Why do you seek the tree? To get the silver apple. Then your quest is ended. Behold. But Brindle said the apple would be on the tree. Perhaps he lied. Or don't you believe what you see? As a matter of fact, I don't. Well done, champion. The true prize awaits you there. The tree. What do you want here? I want that silver apple. Will you fight me for it? I'd prefer to do it some other way. Your strength must be tested. But if you can think of another way to do so... This should do it. Catch! Ha! A tug of war! An excellent idea! Whenever you're ready. Then let's begin! You are no weakling, champion. You're not so bad <clears throat> yourself, but I need that. Are you all right? A most refreshing bath. <laughs> the silver apple is yours, champion. But it won't be yours for long. I'll take that. Zem, stop. Oh, no. I must have taken a wrong turn. This maze is tricky, isn't it? I believe that apple is mine. We'll see about that. Stay away. Just give me the apple and I won't tell Brindle what you did. If you promise not to cause any more trouble. I promise. Good. And now I've got to go. I promise you'll be sorry for this, He-Man. Anybody want to go to a wedding? Oh, He-Man, you've done it. <laughs> So they think I'm finished. Well, they'll see. You've done well, He-Man. And now you must all leave so that I may begin the great spell of changing. Exactly as the old legends say. Forces of darkness, hear my plea! Revive the ancient enemy of the dragons of dark smoke! Shadow Wing, hear me! It's I who freed you, and I ask you a favor. Human insect, prepare to meet your doom! Wait! I want you to destroy Dark Smoke and its dragons, and I'll help. Dark Smoke? It still stands? Yes, if you want revenge on the dragons for imprisoning you. Enough! I shall destroy Dark Smoke as you wish, though I am afraid you will not be there to see it. <laughs> What's that? Randomir, I have returned for you. Shadow Wing. Evil Worm. Got 
to stop that evil dragon. You big human, you dare attack me! He got my engine. Only one chance. Got to time this just right. Just one more second. He-Man, are you all right? Did I do it? Do what? That. It cannot be! Now, wretched worm, feel the wrath of Granamir. And now shadowing to the realm of demons where you belong. No! By the ancients, I've never seen such power. Like I once told you, he's uh, one of a kind. <laughs> So, by the great laws of dragon and man, I now declare you husband and wife. Congratulations. I know you two will be happy. I guess we'll be going, Granamir. Once again, you proved to me that there may be some hope for humans yet. For that, I thank you. You're quite welcome. And if you should ever need me again, I shall call. Farewell, hero of Italian. Farewell. Oldest and wisest of dragons? You know, this is something I'll never forget. Neither will I, old friend. Neither will I. Helping his dragon friend sure kept He-Man busy today. And Brindle's tests were pretty tough. In one of those tests, to prove his courage, he was challenged to a fight. But He-Man wouldn't fight. The fact is, fighting never proves anything. Trying to find a peaceful way to settle a problem is usually the best way. And if someone calls you a coward or a chicken, don't let it worry you. It often takes more courage not to fight. Until later, bye now.